Well, here it is, Tuesday morning in Gerald, Texas at Bar 111 Knives, and I got a knife here. This old boy, he's a little slow, and I mean, he ain't just really, he's just not the sharpest tack in the box, but he brought me some steel and some wood, and he wanted to learn how to make a knife, and kind of things kind of, life kind of got a hold of him a little bit, and he kind of got busy, and and uh, now he's working on his master's degree in engineering, and I guess it is, I don't know. And, but anyway, uh, he needs something to really impress them professors and, uh, and his wife to let, let her know that he's really a sharp cookie. And so he brought me some wood, and, and, uh, I want, uh, and there it is. I mean, look at that handle on this thing. I mean, tell you what, uh, I'm not going to give you his name, but he knows who he is when he sees this piece of wood. This is one pretty some gun. It is book match, by the way, folks. Pretty neat little old knife. Now I'm not too just necessarily the most tip on the the blade shape he's got here. This Warncliffe type blade, and but that gum, I'm gonna tell you what. This turned out to be one of the sharpest knives I, I think I've ever built. This some gun is. I mean, if it, I don't care how dull you are, uh, this one right here is going to be one knife that's going to make you sharp as a tack and your wife is really going to think man i've been asleep all these all these years and i'm just now finding out just how sharp a fella he is especially when uh, you give her this little heart uh, that you wanted to be made out of that handle so i mean tell you when you give her that ain't no telling i mean you like who knows what you're gonna get buddy uh, but she might sit down and, and fix you a heck of a meal. Or no, who knows, who knows. But anyway, I hope y'all like it. Let me know what you think. It's Bar 111 Knives coming to you from Gerald, Texas, making America beautiful and sharp. One knife at a time. See you now. Bye.